One December night, over 2,000 years ago, a shining star illuminated a gathering of kings, shepherds, angels, and animals round a baby in a stable. T'was the nativity, and it marked the end of a journey that began on a donkey's back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold up there, Jeeves. Yeah. I beg your pardon? Your nativity. That's not exactly how it happened. Here, look, let's start with that donkey. Neither of the gospel stories mentions Mary traveling by donkey. And given the 60 miles of rough terrain they traveled, it's more likely they used a wagon. <laughs> Minor details. But then the innkeeper informs them there's no room... Again, the Bible doesn't actually mention an innkeeper. And in the Greek, the word inn refers to an upper room in a house, not an actual motel. Oh, blast. Look, wherever it was, there was no room. So, Mary and Joseph were sent to the stable. Uh, no stable. <sighs> Not in the Bible either. Now you're catching on. And in those days, most animals were typically kept in a cave. A cave? Yuppers. So, it could have been that instead of a stable, the Bible doesn't really say. And the Star of Bethlehem? Duh, that's biblical. Well, we're actually right for once. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, so now came the shepherds and the three kings. No kings. Three kings is from the song. The Bible says magi, which means wise men. Three wise men? That works. Well, not so fast. While the Bible does mention three gifts, it doesn't specify the number of wise men that brought them. You mean there could have been more? Oh yeah, a whole posse even. With a crowd like that, it's a miracle the baby Jesus never cried. What, no crying he makes? That's just a lyric from Away in a Manger, not actual scripture. <laughs> well, of course he was crying. You just added a whole crowd of strange men. Eh, yes and no. There may have been many wise men, but they weren't there that night. You see... Okay, that's enough. Except for the blooming star of Bethlehem, you've just dismantled the most inspiring image of Christian tradition. So what's your point? Point? Well, I guess it's this. Even when all of the man-made traditions are stripped away, the eternal truths still remain. Whether they traveled by donkey or wagon, God brought them safely to the birthplace that was prophesied. Whether born in a stable or cave, God provided shelter in a strange new land. Whether there were three kings, three wise men, or many, God called the elect to bear witness and testimony to the birth of Emmanuel. So whether your manger looks like this, or like this, the one thing that remains unchanged is this. A baby boy, born of a virgin, this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. <laughs> Bless you, sir. I'll never look at the miracle of December 25th the same way again. December 25th? Oh, I almost forgot. Stop that. Music! Music!